Now, are you sure about putting these in with this straight? Because you didn't put that in any hydrogen peroxide to stop it. I'm not sure about anything. I'm going to tell you that. Have I seen the movie? No. Do I have a DVD player? No. Do I have a TV? No. But we have a sign shrine. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Hello, Katie Colson here. Welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. And today we're doing another big life change, a big alteration in my daily life. We just had one for me getting a new insulin pump, switching to the Omnipod, and that has such drastically improved my health and my lifestyle. And I'm just so happy about that. And in this vlog, we're gonna be going through me getting a septoplasty or deviated septum surgery. But he called it um, septoplasty in particular because it turned out, I'm gonna explain it right now because I did not do a good job of explaining it in this video. But basically I have two very heavily deviated septums and I went in looking to remedy that, but the farther and more he investigated into the problem, he said that the deviated septums were the least of my problems and that those um, in fact were not were what were really causing my breathing and smelling and tasting problems and sleeping and productivity. There's a lot of things that go into getting oxygen. Uh, he said that I have chronic sinusitis, which in layman's terms, the easiest way to describe it is that I have asthma of the nasal passages. So they just inflame and kind of close up for what he said, they have not really figured out what the reason is. Like some of it's allergies, some of it could be like dust or whatever, but that it just happens and there is no cure for it, at least at this time. And he said that um, he would suggest surgery and that I had a very severe um, sinus problem. Basically it was a very intense surgery because he had to, he had to clear out all of my sinuses and that means going behind my eyes, it's so gross. Ugh. Like, I just can't, I can't even think about it. When he was talking about it, I almost passed out. I was like, you're going to do what? But anyway, also in this video, my mom comes up um, from, like, so she takes a plane and comes up with me because I needed someone to accompany me at the hospital and also to stay with me for the first night because not only did he say because I have diabetes, I need somebody to be there, but also as it turns out later on, um, when I actually do get the surgery, I did not, I do not believe I said this in the video, but something that's going to make it make more sense later on is that the nurse, um, the ER nurse said that they had to give me a lot of anesthesia more than they would normally give. And I, she didn't explain why. And I don't remember fighting the anesthesia, but she said that she had to give me a lot and that it was going to like kind of mess me up for a day to a day and a half. And that I couldn't drive for like two days, which normally it's only the first day. So anyway, that happens. My mom comes and visits me and we go to a scrapbook expo. We do tie dye, we make soup, we do all these different things and all that's gonna be in the video. And I will say originally, this was supposed to be my vlog for Fourth Wing and I do talk about this book. I do talk about it, but there's another video about this. There's another video about that. So that's not the main focus of the video. Anyway, let's get to fixing my nasal passages. Okay, that's it, that's it. Listen, the straw, the final straw broke this camel's back, okay? I am the last person on earth, officially, to read this book, officially the last one. So I've been shamed countless times for not reading this book. I bought it when these were still available and I haven't read it. Why? That's a great question. That is a great question. Nothing is standing in my way except me, okay? And I need to be good to myself. I need to take care of number one. But let me tell you what happened today that made me like, Katie, if you do not read this book, I'm going to dress you up like a dolphin and throw you in a shark, an uh, orca tank, okay? It's because I got a message from an old coworker who reads, and she's not like a super fast reader, but she reads. I got her to read Six of Crows and like all this stuff. It was fun. Okay. She messaged me today out of nowhere. I have not heard from this girl in like 10 months. And she messaged me and was like, oh, hey, um, have you read The Inheritance Games? I was like, uh, I tried to, but no, I didn't finish it. And I was like, what are you reading right now? She was like, I just finished Fourth Wing and now I'm on, I don't even remember what she's reading right now. And I was like, you read Fourth Wing? You read Fourth Wing? And she was like, you have it? This girl is not part of the book community. She's not on booktube. She's not on booktok. She's not on bookstagram. She read this book. 
and is shaming me because I haven't started it. So yeah, we are going to start this right now because I have so much embarrassment. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say something real quick. This writing is really bad. This writing is really bad. No offense to Rebecca Yaros, but nobody prepared me for that. And then when I went on Patreon, they were like, no, it's just a fun time. I was like, oh, that's what the girlies meant? When they were like, oh, it's just a fun, fast time. Oh my God. I was like, I did not, I didn't put two and two together. Now that I know that, I'm going to give it a lot more grace. Uh, I have read three chapters. And when I tell you in like the first like couple pages, she used the term for the win. <laughs> Rebecca Yaros. 2012's calling take it back like <laughs> stop but um I like the main character Violet I don't understand what her illness is all I know is that she had a fever at one point and or no no her mother had a fever when she was pregnant with her and now she has some sort of like lifelong condition of pain and weakness I don't know yet and I definitely see why people say this is divergent because it definitely is like, you know, in the beginning with Dauntless, where they have to, like, jump on the train, and it's like, well, you could die, but if you're, like, hardcore enough to be in Dauntless, then you'll do it. That same exact thing happens where they're, like, cross this super slippery-ass ice bridge, and if you don't fall off, then you can become the tri begin the trials. And, like, a bunch of people fall off. Like, a bunch of people, like, the f people are signing up for this? Like, I'm... I'm just confused. Like, I'm just, I'm confused. Anyway, I will also say Rihanna, um, the friend, that is the most unbelievable character. Like, she comes in, she's like the quirky, sweet girl, and is like, let's be best friends. I'm like, are y'all supposed to be competing against each other? I'm like, that was too fast. Rebecca Yaros. Like, there wasn't any history. That, I mean, I, not that there can be history they just met, but like, it's just like they're best friends now. I'm on chapter four. I literally just started first page of chapter four. They're best friends. Okay, anyway, I'm on reading sprints, so I will get more of this done tonight and I'll hit you back up with my thoughts. Y'all, when I say that she just said for the win again, one time I'll take his irony. Twice in this short amount of time? But listen, everybody on Patreon said, give it 30 to 40% and then you'll fall in love. And I, I believe you. I believe you. I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm not trying to drink that haterade, all right? I want to love this book. I do. Am I telling you with my full chest that this is bad writing? Yes. But I want to love it, okay? And I'm going in with an open mind. I, you know, I have qualms, but my mind is open. So I'm going to keep reading it. I think I'm going to stop for tonight because I'm tired. But, oh, and then also my mom comes in tomorrow at like 10 a.m. So I have to be up hella early to go drive all the way to pick her up from the airport. And then I have my surgery the next day. So I don't know how long it's going to take me to read this, but it'll get done. Okay. Good night. Hi. Whew, it is not even early enough that I should be acting like this. It's like 10 a.m., but I'm tired. 10 a.m. for me is like God forsaken. But I have to go pick up my mom from the airport, which I told you yesterday. Um, but I woke up and I, I'm going to be late picking her up because right when I was about to leave, I got a knock on my door from maintenance saying that I had a leak a leak from my air conditioner to the downstairs apartment. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> come in, I guess. So they were here for a minute fixing that or doing whatever they needed to do. I don't know. So I'm going to be a little bit late and I do need to stop by Dunkin' Donuts because I need coffee or I will not survive this hour long drive to the airport. Oh my God. Okay, so I, I read like... I think I was on page 92, something like that, last night when I was on Reading Sprints. And I'm going to pick up the audiobook while I drive because it's an hour long and like, I need, you know, like I need something to keep up my interest while I drive. And I will 
remain in the opinion, very unfortunately, that I'm, I'm not, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. Like, I don't understand what people love about this book. I don't get it. But again, 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 waiting. I am not giving a solidified opinion. I'm only on like chapter seven. I want to wait. I want to love it. I really, I pray that I love it. Whew. But okay, let's go pick up my mom from the airport. Okay, bye for now. Whew. Okay, my mom just messaged that she is in the air and she has not flown in so, like, since she was in high school, I think. So very excited for her. And I'm going to continue listening to Fourth Wing. Oh my gosh, you you did way better than I did. You're like, I'm at this exact location. I was like, ah. Oh, thank you. This is my mom. And she flew by herself for the first time since what, you were in high school? 47 years. The last time I was on a plane was I was 17 years old. Amazing. Because, like, I know, for me, fl flying is, like, it's stressful. stressful. Yes. I, I got a headache. Well, in the meantime, this is still a little pop-in, book pop-in. In the meantime, I was listening to the book while I was driving here. And I'm really, I'm really sorry to say this. This book is really bad. This book is really bad. I do not understand. The entire world is obsessed. The entire world is obsessed. This book is going for like a thousand dollars on Pango Books. What are y'all talking about? What are you reading? That wing? Uh, yeah, fourth wing. Fourth wing. Terrible. Like I just do not understand. I don't get it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep reading it. Everybody said, oh, 30 to 40 percent is when you're gonna get into it. I'm not that far in, so we'll see. But I do not understand. This girl, it is never explained so far. What medically is wrong with her? She just has something that's wrong with her. But why is every character willing to throw their life on the line for this girl? I don't get it. Like literally like every person that comes in is like, oh my God, Violet. Like if she's like thinking she's injured and I'm like, we don't get any history. We don't get any backstory. Why are they obsessed with her? I do not understand. Like it doesn't make any sense. And then like even the dudes are like for some reason all attracted to her, but we don't get any like reasoning why this is happening. And then she's supposed to be unwillingly in this writer program, but then she's given every single opportunity to leave and doesn't. Um, the writing is really bad. And when I tell you again, Rebecca Yaros used for the win again again like three times in the first 10 chapters that's pretty bad so yeah i'm gonna continue listening to the audiobook instead of reading it physically like i was before because i'm sad to say this my dude but um book is terrible okay we're gonna drive home or drive somewhere to get um a drink because yeah we're lacking felony here Looking <laughs> metaphility. Oh my gosh. Hi. It is too early in the morning, but um, there was a little bit of change of plans because we were supposed to go at 8.30 to have the surgery at 10.30, but the doctor called yesterday and was like, actually, I'm planning on doing the first surgery like super fast. So if you can actually get there like hella early, then I could probably see you earlier. And he said that he, he wanted me to show up at seven. We're gonna see about that. And you know, didn't sleep at all last night, obviously, very nerve wracking. But we're planning and hoping for the best. I'm gonna go. And I don't know when I'll hit you up next because I don't know what I'm gonna look like. But um, we'll see. Wish, wish me luck. Is that the term? Anyway. We're in our little private suite. <laughs> and we were matching until a second ago. We both had on our tie-dye sweater. Of course, I'm in a, um, this summer's catalog. The new event. 
Uh, we're just waiting for what? I don't, I don't know. Um, hopefully I'll be able to be seen sooner because the sooner it's over, the sooner you can stop worrying about what's going to happen. Do you know what I'm saying? So we don't know. They're just waiting here until I go into surgery. So I don't know what it's going to be like, but I'm sure she will tell me. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, hope, you know what? Hope for the best. Prepare for the worst, hope for the best. We'll see. I survived. I survived. <laughs> I feel like I look crazy, but I don't look dead, you know? And that's really what matters. <laughs> I, uh, I'm um, about to get the Uber to go home, and then I will talk about the experience, but I'm very happy to be going home and I'm very happy with how amazing everyone was here. All hail St. Kim, oh, who sat in a hospital with no food and only a little bit of water from 6.50 a.m. until 6.30 p.m. with only your Kindle and strangers to talk to. And a bag of goldfish. And a bag of goldfish. <laughs> and then she made us some food, so let's see. So I'm not, I can't have, I can have basically whatever, but n my jaw is gonna hurt. So I made some eggs and some onion and did some sausage in it. It looks so good. And uh, I took those painkillers. So we're looking very cute with our gauze pad, you know, only the best for this girl. Oh yeah, I don't think I said that. They uh, So apparently there are eight sinuses. My mom and I were very shocked to find that out. There's um, cheek, eye, nasal, and then um, some, oh, behind, back, toward the back. I don't know. Anyway, he basically cleared all that out because there was a lot of blockage um, in there. And it's like an inflammation of basically chronic sinusitis. The easiest way to describe it, he said, is that it's asthma of the nose and of the nasal passages. So... Um, it's, I do have deviated septums, but that's not what's causing the problem. It's that the skin swells up and he was basically like cutting that away. And, you know, sorry, but if, if that's gross, um, because I think it is, uh, but he had to do all eight and he was like, it's going to be a much more intense surgery, but, um, it's better than having it done twice, which I agree. So we will take you along in this journey. And I will tell you, don't think I forgot. I'm reading this book. I got one more chapter in. Again, I'm sorry. Okay. Again, I'm holding out hope, but I hate to be the person saying that this book is bad. I hate to be it, but I, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep reading it. Cause I really trust y'all. Like y'all really love this book. And, and I at least want to read it and realize why other people like it, even if it's not for me. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'll read some more of it today hopefully. Um, and we'll hit you back up at some other time. Oh my God. Hi. We're going to go on a hot girl walk because <laughs> hot, girl walk. hot girl walk, because it's sunny outside. My blood sugar is high. I mean, it's stable. It's not like, you know, getting high, 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 but it's 208. And you know, we would love for it not to be in the 200. So we're going to go on a walk because it's sunny outside and it's nice. And it said that I need to walk for 10 minutes, three times a day for like blood clot reasons. And I cannot believe how well it's doing. Now I have been taking like Tylenol and Motrin for the headaches, but that's been going really well. And I'll probably take one when I get home, but I just have to like dab at my nose. But yesterday it was like, you know, sorry to, for the visual picture, but it was, <laughs> it was draining. But today it's been a lot better. So I'm just gonna bring napkins with me and hope for the best. And we can always turn around and come back. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? In my apartment complex, like if they see me with the bloody nose, what? I'm sure they've seen worse. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. We're back. 
pretty swiftly. We walked a little over a mile, but it's Georgia heat. So we're going to count it as a mile and a half. Uh, but very frustratingly, my blood sugar is really high. And like, I told you that it was high, but it wasn't too bad. It was stable. It was 201. And then we start walking. Now it's 249 with an arrow going up. Why? Why? I didn't eat anything. But it's because of that nasal spray I'm using has steroids in it. And you're supposed to, it's supposed to just come out the other side of your nose, which would not really affect me. But because it's so blocked up, it goes down my throat. Um, and you can't spit it all out. Like it's going down your throat. So it um, will cut, like steroids make my blood sugar really high. And that's just so frustrating. Cause like when my blood sugar is high, it makes me really angry. It makes me tired. It makes me have a headache. And obviously I'm already tired and have a headache because of this surgery. But the good news is I went on the walk and my nose like barely was like bleeding. So that's a, that's a prize in my opinion. I'm, I'm just absolutely astonished by how good of a job this guy did. Like he crushed it. Everybody there crushed it. They're amazing. So yeah, um, I'm going to just work on some thumbnails right now and I'll probably just take some physical insulin to get this ball moving because I don't want my blood sugar to be high because it also causes me to heal slower. So we don't like that. So I'm going to do that and then I'll hit you back up when I'm in a better mood. Hello. Um, first update is that I got to chapter 19 of fourth wing. It's, it's terrible. It's, it's, I like, I feel like I'm being pranked. Like why is everybody literally obsessed with this book? Like, even Aaron likes this book and Aaron doesn't like anything. I'm confused. Like it can't just be me. The book's just not good. I mean, I'm going to keep reading it. Like I, I have to know I'm not going to DNF it, you know, but, um, I am like 160 pages in. I'm not gripped, not gripped. Do I think the guys are hot? No, I think they're needy and annoying. <laughs> anyway, um, we bought the PO box and we have three things that came in the PO box. And I told my mom, I was like, you know, one of these, you know, one of these is going to be it. All right. What is it? Oh, well. Number what? 15? <laughs> signs i love that it never says who sent it they're like oh it wasn't me i don't know what you're talking about that wasn't me what is this oh from jonathan b <laughs> there's no way okay oh Freaking VHS, Jordaline. Jordaline! She's like, maybe it's a VHS. Shut up. And it's in perfect condition. <laughs> this is stunning. This is getting displayed. I was like, it's too small. Psych. It was better than the DVD. It's a VHS. Okay, let's see. That's not. Sorry. This doesn't feel like a DVD. No. This is from Mira. Okay. Stupid Amazon would let not let me send you signs. <laughs> I like how you act like I'm mad about that. Like, I'm like, no signs, DVD Mira. Can't figure out why, but sorry for giving you grief on sprints. Actually, I'm not. It was hilarious. Girl. Oh, how do you remember this? I have not shown any journaling content in like a year. And she still remembers that these are the exact tapes that I use. You have the memory of an elephant. I'm so confused. This, 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 Mira, Mira. Is that the one you This is the one I wanted so bad. This is the one I wanted so bad. Killing Stocking Volume 3. It's wrapped for a good reason. Listen to me. Look in my eyes. I didn't tell you to read this. And you can't prove it. I will deny it all in court. I did not tell you to read this. I am going to read this tonight. Like, I'm so freaking excited. I have not been, like, physically reading very She's much. She's been talking about it since I got here. Mira! I'm obsessed. I don't know why I'm trying to open this. Like I can show you what's inside because I explicitly cannot, but y'all just look at it. Look at this. Look at this. Getting away with murder. I am well and truly obsessed. I will be reading this tonight. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Thank y'all so much. This was so nice and hilarious. Well, it's, well, the DVD and the VHS, I'm not going to say that was nice. But it's a funny prank. So we'll take it. Hello, you don't even know my name, but I am happy you came by. No lessons learned, of course.
Oh my god, hi. My mom and I are going to bleach and tie-dye. Well, I say my mom and I. Um, apparently, I will be bleaching and tie-dyeing and my mom will be the cameraman slash entertainment. I don't know if I'm in frame right now. Do I need to look through it? If you would, that would be gross. Thank you. Also, obviously, I'm nasally and blood is constantly dripping out of my nose. We're gonna pretend like that's not happening. Oh my god, it's like Michelle Pfeiffer and Scarface. <gasps> Like I have to make this cool somehow. I know both of us have this orange one. There's that okay. one's for you. And this one's for me because I thought Halloween. Okay. I was thinking, I was like, maybe we could like do some bleach on it and then wash it and then put black and it would be like Halloween-y. Oh, yes. Okay. So if I'm not the person doing a tie-dye tutorial, but if you are also chaotic and don't feel like doing everything the exact proper perfect way is that what I did is you put the front of your shirt this side you put that down flat and then you take the middle and you twist it keep twisting it around and the outside is obviously going to be a little messy but the reason you do that is because well I move the sleeve out of the way the twisted part is going to be more clear like this where this is the back of the shirt so you want this to look better so you do it like that and then you just put some rubber bands. I mean, listen, we're not trying to be Picasso over here, so we're going to do what we can. And then we're going to put half bleach, half water in. There's a the squeezy bottle I showed you before. We could use that. I just now realized I should be, I should be wearing gloves. Do as I say, not as I do, my fine children. Okay. Maybe I should have wet it first, but your girl doesn't think about these things. These are 100% cotton. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I'm going to pour some water on it and just, because it says that it will dilute it and not make it streaky like the sweater. Hey, I like the gray sweater. I had compliments on that while you were in surgery. Oh, okay. <laughs> I kept saying my daughter did that. Ooh. I like, and it hasn't even come out yet. Oh, okay. And actually I like that. Um, it's not really going to do it on this one, but the orange, I like that it's darker orange on this. Okay. I'll put it in this bag. We'll put both of them in one bag, okay. just so we can no do problem. the, uh, we can do the black ones in the other bag. So I'll leave it in here for 20 minutes. I guess I'll Google it and see if that's I don't good. know, I'm loving the color of that. Look. Yeah, that looks good. Oh my God, this is I awesome. I love it. Oh, oh that's so great. Wow. Maybe I'll just scrunch it. This one, we're just going to scrunch. We're not going to do anything particular. This is interesting. So it looks like these are going to be orange. Yes. Rust color. Yes. Well, um, I think that when it dries and everything, it'll be more orangey, but that might be cool. Like if it turns orangey, either it'll look cool or we could try putting the pink over it and like see what happens. Do whatever you wish. Okay. This is fun. It's like, do I know, do I know exactly what I'm doing? No. Am I like decently confident? Yeah. Just say it'll oh. come out pretty cool. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> She's an artist. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> Very cool. And who says you can't wear your shirt backwards? You can wear your shirt any damn way you want to. <laughs> exactly. Got to get it really intense in some parts and a little splattery in other parts. Okay. I love it. Like, I'm sure none of this is in camera and it's just us just going, wow, it looks cool. And then being like, I'm sure it does. <laughs> I'm sure it looks great. We would never know. All right. You ready for the reveal? Yes. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like the front. You want me to put more on any part? The back a little bit. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think it needs a little yeah, bit more. just a little bit more on the back. Now, are you sure about putting these in with this straight? Because you didn't put that in any hydrogen peroxide to stop it. I'm not sure about anything. I'm going to tell you that. We'll be right back, folks. We'll be right back. 
We are currently washing the tie-dyed items. Oh, I didn't get to see the pink one after you. Oh. It. Well, it'll be more of a surprise. Maybe we'll update you tomorrow. I don't know how long it's gonna take to dry. But anyway. Bye. bye. Oh my god, it looks so good. Wow. I'm amazed. That looks amazing. I am stunned. Do I go get another one? Yes. It's so funny because on the camera, it looks like it's coral. It's not. It is orange. It is orange. I like that. I'm getting a different light. I like this one. I like the other one even more, I think. This one's yours. Oh my oh, god. Yes. yes. Are we going to wear these tomorrow? You're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already got it out. I know. That is so cute. Okay, that's like actually a perfect circle. Like, that's perfect. I love it. Here's your Halloween shirt. It's like, I want to say that I don't, I don't like it as much, but at the same time, I actually love it. That's cool. It looks like industrial. Uh, oh my God, wait, the heart. Oh my God, wait, it did turn out. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh my God, okay. shut up. It's when like, it's like. Back, it looks like a football. <laughs> yeah. yeah it is definitely circles <laughs> no but the heart is so cool because it's like you don't see it at first and if you're if you see it you're like oh wow look at that that is so cool i did not think the heart was going to turn out honestly i don't know if you could tell but on the camera it's stunning my mom has never been to a half price books she's about to have her freaking mind blown <laughs> it's just so much fun Hey, Kellerman, I've got a lot of See? Already, already, already noticed one. What you got in your hands? Lillian Jackson Braun, the cat who went up creek. You've read some of her books? Mm-hmm. And it's on sale for $3. Oh, wow. All right. The cat who brought down the house. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, I might have to buy this. Ooh, that's pretty. I have the paperback. I've never seen a hardback. This is stunning. I want to read this. It's so thick, but I want to read this. Mm -hmm. Here you go, man. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. I don't need it. I don't need to do it. Do I want to? Desperately. But I shouldn't. I know in the last video I was going to get this, and now I'm... <sighs> think about it, Mom. We're going to think about it. Oh, founder. Oh, chest smells good. First things first, snack. Let's see. Oh my God, it's done. Oh, this skinny popcorn's good. So <clears throat> we got some stuff, some stuff, some things at the bookstore. So I'll show you what I got first. So there was a couple things I wanted to get and then I didn't because I was like, Katie. Calm down, calm down. So Gabby responded. She said that she thought I would really love Your Name, volume one. I believe there's only three volumes and apparently the anime movie is like amazing. So I wanna give this a shot. I wanna read this. They had volume one. They don't normally have volume ones in the store. And I got the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin because everybody and their brother has given this five stars. I'm not a big sci-fi person, but I want a Hugo Award and I wanna give it a shot, you know? I want to know what the girlies know. So I bought it. And then I also bought the self-published version of the Atlas Six. And if anybody's been around on my channel for a while and is like, oh my God, Katie, didn't you get rid of that book because you said you didn't need two copies? I am that same girl. I am. Now I, I'm keeping this because I love it and it's a little dinged up and it only has like three annotations in it. But if I ever want to get rid of it, you can't buy this anymore. So I'm sure I could always sell it. And then the last thing I got, which I wasn't sure about, and then I just couldn't leave without it is Vida Nostra. So again, you might be like, last month, didn't you drive 30 miles away to go to a Barnes and Noble that had this book? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I bought the paperback. But look how pretty this is. And I've never in my life seen a hardback version. 
and they're like $48 on Amazon. So I got it because in case, in case I love this book, I need it. And if not, well, sucks to suck, Katie. And my mom got two books. I got a couple of cozy mysteries. The cat who talked turkey and the cat who went up the creek. Say, so I have enough drama in my life right now. Just want some cozy mysteries. I like those covers too. Okay, are I'm, we showing anything else? Yes, I'm turning on the air, so I'm very sorry because it's gonna be really annoying for y'all, but it's Georgia and it's 100 degrees, so. We have more shirts to play with. Yes. Then we got wine. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I'll, I'll hold this one. I hope I was on sage, dark green, charcoal gray, and da da. Yes, are they cute? I'm obsessed. I thought I could put them on the lapel of my work shirt. And then I got this blanket. It, I'll show it to you when we get home, but it's so freaking cute. Like, I'm obsessed, and it's reversible, so it looks, like, normal on this side, spooky on this side. And I'm, like, actually obsessed with it. I love it so much. And then I got... So, my mom was like, we need to look for scrubbies because the ones that I have are just... I don't know. They're not hygienic. They're not cute. And she found this, and it didn't even have a price on it. The woman had to just figure it out, basically. So, my mom was like, oh, you stick this in your sink... And then um, you don't have to worry about suction cupping it. And then you can put two sponges in here. And I really like the black sponges. So I figured I'd use the black sponge for like cleaning off like gross stuff. And then the white one for like um, things that aren't going to be super stain-y. And then have the white in one and the black in the other. Because I really, all the other ones are white. And I was like, I don't want to use the white one for like food. Because like I think that's gross. Something else that we got so I can cook for her is a splatter guard. Which is great because my mom was like, there's oil all over your stove. And I was like, I don't know how to stop it from happening. A new egg pan. And a new frying pan. Nice and deep and pretty. Yes, because we're going to make taco soup. Yep, this is what I'm going to do the ground beef in. Oh, okay. Yeah. You will be set. When I leave in the morning, you will be set for several days. Mm -hmm. I'm happy about it. Yes, that looks so good. That one looks awesome. Okay. Okay, I'm obsessed. Literally, my mom did that with just bleach. Like, what, that was a bright green shirt, and somehow she turned it blue, dark green, and white. I don't know. <gasps> Sorcery. <laughs> yes. Uh, we match. So, we match on the pink and the um, orange. orange and the blue one. Yep. Ah, oh, that was so much fun. We're at the airport delivering my mom and I found it so easily where if you cue back to the beginning I was horrifically off base but oh my gosh look at this we learned from the last time Six fifty eight a.m. We made it exactly on time because she wanted to be there an hour before the plane, and it goes at seven fifty eight. So we nailed it. 
Now I guess I'll listen to this stupid book on the way home. Hello, I've got to show you this. I've spent the last couple hours, like, let's not talk about how long it's been. It's been at least three or four hours that I've spent organizing a bunch of stuff. And then also this medicine cabinet, it's really frustrating because it used to open this way and it would just like kind of hit you. And I get that that's probably not great, but like, listen, you know? Um, and then I was reorganizing everything in here. Why did it take so long? That's a really good question. That's, that's a very good question. I'm so glad you asked. I will not be answering, but thank you. Okay. And then I was organizing the new hair products that I got at uh, Marshall's. And I was like, wow, now I have so much more space. Like, I don't even know what happened there. And organizing all of this hair tools. Yeah. And then I got a lot of new scrunchies. So I've got like solid colors. And then this is like solid colors with like a little bit of a pattern. And then these are all like little ones that are bows. Little organization. Look at how good it looks. And then this is where you're really going to gag. You're going to vomit. Okay. So on top, I have my little makeup brush thing. If I can open it. Um, this just holds all my makeup brushes. I really like it. it seals up really nice. And then here we go. This, this, this is a pride and joy. This, this is everything to me. Do you see this? Even from back here, it's like literally stunning. Like, are you joking? Oh, oh my God. It's so pretty. And then the satisfaction. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't even look at it. Like, it's just so beautiful. Okay. And then, are you kidding? Oh my God. I'm obsessed. Okay. So this is like bobby pins, um, clips. I don't know what you call that. Anyway. And then like those little claw clips. And then this is like, kind of like clips, but like decorative. And then these are four different varieties or colors of these butterfly clips. And then I have two different colors of these butterfly claw clips and then three, um, bigger bows. God, they look so freaking good. And then this is my bandanas, um, two like athletic headbands. And then, you know, pads for the girlies. That's what I've been doing all day. And when I tell you, I was like Ty Pennington, okay? I had to take out a drill. I had to drill holes. I had to do everything. I was crushing it. Okay. I should probably do actually something with my day, but that's yet to be seen. Hi. It has been... I don't even remember. Um, It's been a minute. Uh, oh, wait, no, no. Okay, so I dropped my mom off on Saturday... Woke up at 5 a.m. that day. Oh, my God. And then, oh, yeah, that night I was tie-dyeing and bleaching shirts. And I didn't realize that if you did that at the same time, those chemicals were like, uh, no, no, no. And then I ended up having to, like, open my door and my um, all my windows in my apartment. And I was just, like, laying on the floor. Like, it was, like, not cute. Why am I telling you that? Anyway, um, it is Monday morning. Monday, technically, afternoon. It's 11.15. So, um, at 11.25, I'm supposed to be at my doctor's appointment for my post-op um, for the septoplasty. And I woke up this morning at 8 a.m. and could not breathe. Like, I don't know if it's that... Last night was the first night where I haven't slept, like, propped up. But I could not breathe. I had, like, just so much congestion. And then when I used the um, nasal rinse... Y'all. <laughs> it was a geyser. It was crazy. I was like, what in the world? Like, Because you know those, like, you know, clots or clumps or whatever of blood? I was like, why is there so much? Because that has not been happening over the last, like, two days. But then all of a sudden, scary. So I have, like, ugh, my face is so weird. We'll pretend it's blush. Hi. Um, right here is, like, very, like, like kind of, like, like stuff, like, pressure, congestion-y. And I'm hoping that um, when I go in that there... <laughs> that there is something that he packed into my nose and that that is what's causing that and that he's going to remove it and it's going to feel like a bajillion times better. Do I know if that's true? No. But every time I've looked inside my nose, like with a flashlight, I don't see anything. And every time I look on TikTok for people getting their um, packing removed, it's like a cord. Like you can see it. 
So I don't know if there, I don't know. I don't know. He, but he was saying sponge, not packing. So maybe it's different. I don't know. Like, am I different? Am I not like other girls? Like, <laughs> hi. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to walk over there and do that. I'm going to see if there is something in there. I'm going to see if I can record it because even though it'll be disgusting, disgusting, I still, I think it'll be like cool in a disgusting way. Anyway, okay, I will either hit you back up with the grossest footage you've ever seen or afterward to tell you how it went. Turn towards me, just kind of, yep, keep it just like that. <laughs> Sorry. Turn right. Oh. oh my god! Sorry. <laughs> That's wild. Good job. I'm like, no wonder, like, because there was so much coming out. I was like, no wonder so much came out just now because yeah. it's like packed. In well, and that's what we want. I like, I want them nice and moist like that. So you're doing the rinse is great. Like, it came out super easily. Good job. Do this other side too. Good job. Oh God. Wow. That's. Crazy. Look, what is that? It looks like a um. It's part of a glove. Yeah. Um, it is a little bit of a like homemade solution, honestly. So it's it's a it's a piece of like medical nose cardboard. Is kind of the way to think of it with a glove over the top of it. Um, the glove keeps it from sticking to as much stuff. It makes it slide out easier. Yeah. Um, and the, the point of it is to basically keep some structures apart that I don't want to touch each other um, to prevent some scarring and stuff. <laughs> that, and then that's it's a, there's a, a stitch in it so that I can grab it. I can't, I was literally looking with the flashlight on my nose like there's it's, nothing it's up there. there. There's a lot more space in your nose than you realize. <laughs> yeah, apparently, Jesus. I'm going to do a little vacuuming in there now. You okay? Yeah. All done. God. <laughs> you were like, thank God. <laughs> and I was like, it just that one last part. Yeah, there's one little spot where it's always tender. Oh. Great job. Thank you. Oh my so, gosh, uh, that is wild. Does it feel even like more open? <laughs> oh, it's like it's like it's so open, but it's like numb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like everything just feels really weird. That is crazy. Y'all, <laughs> y'all were born breathing like this. I'm still breathing out of my mouth because I am like scared to breathe through my nose because there's numbing spray in it right now. It's gonna hurt like getting that whiff of cold air that I have never felt. Oh my God, it's like my eyes keep watering. Like, this is crazy. Like, this is crazy. Like, there's no obstruction. Like there's, it's just, oh my God. And like, yeah, he didn't work on my deviated septums because they were so raw from how often I had to blow my nose that they, he was like, yeah, they were going to tear. Like we, I couldn't work on it, which absolutely fine. Um, but like, oh my God. I can't, I, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. It's freaking crazy. There was literally, um, it was like, he said sponges, but what it was, he said it was like nasal, like, um, cardboard. He said it was like nose cardboard basically. And that he just wrapped it in the finger of a glove. I had the two fingers of a glove in my freaking nose and I was looking with the freaking flashlight like all the way up didn't see it that's how freaking high up it was it was like literally up uh. I have such a headache now which like makes sense because like whenever I said that I was like oh yeah it's like kind of pressure right there yeah there was yeah, there was pressure. And he told me that I sound different. And I was like, oh my God, I need to go watch the footage to see like how different I sound. Oh my God. I'm... Do I sound different? Do I sound different? I, mean... I want to like go to a home goods right now and like smell a candle. But I don't know if I'll be able to smell it because of like the numbing spray. I don't know. Can't smell anything. 
Actually, I don't think these really have a smell. But anyway, I'm blown away. I'm amazed. I'm baffled. I'm gooped. I'm gagged. I'm going to call my mom. And I might just hit you with the outro. I don't know. I'm freaking out. Okay, bye for now. Y'all, I can breathe. I can breathe. And even right now, I'm congested and... <sighs> that's insane. Like, that's insane. I've never, ever been able to breathe out of this side of my nose. And now I can. Shook, shaken, gooped, gagged. I do not understand. This is how y'all live. This is how y'all have been breathing. Y'all don't wake up in the middle of the night? Like, I'm just confused. Like, you don't get colds and, like, stuffy noses every day? Now I'm one of you. I was about to be like, oh, it must be nice to be you, but now I'm one of you. Now I'm one of the royal we, okay? So I'm going to wrap this up by saying there's a separate video about all of my concerns and thoughts about this, but I'm not going to get into it here because this is a booktube darling. It's a book talk darling. It's a book everywhere darling. Everyone's obsessed with it. That's so great for them. I hated it. I gave it one star. So sorry to be that person, but also somebody's got to be that person. Okay. And I'm loud and I know that's going to make a lot of people mad, but what can you do? We got to be honest. So if you've gotten this far into the video, leave the nose emoji. I'm pretty sure there's one that's just a nose. So leave the nose emoji, obviously for a deviant septum surgery. It has been several days since I had the packing taken out and I still get such intense headaches from the cold air. So I have been having to be on pain medication for the last couple of days. Hopefully maybe one or two days more of that hopefully will be it. And then I have to go back in in two weeks to have more of the, there's like just a little bit more in there that I need to get out. I don't want to think about it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you want to join my Patreon, they know everything. They were going through this with me and it was kind of terrifying. So if you want to join that, you always could below as well as there will be links to merch like shirts and hoodies and coffee cups and stickers and pens and all sorts of really cool stuff that I created down below on my off time while I was out of work. So that's really cool as well as my Instagram and my Goodreads. All of that being said, I hope that you are all having an amazing day, evening, night, dusk, dawn, whatever it is you're having in whatever part of the world you are currently having it in. And I will see you in a video coming very soon. Bye. You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain. Pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Uh, I'll be the best above all.